Daily Tarot Reading, August the 7th. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at your reading. Hi friends, my name is Griselle with Psychic MD and I'm here to do another daily read for you. If you're liking this kind of reading, please do give me a like, share, comment, subscribe. Today we have the clover. Let's see if that can come up better. Release your guilt. The number 21, two, your personal power. One is new beginnings. So apparently, this is an error feeling guilty about something or at least being aware of what you feel guilty about. Of course, we see all the beautiful flames in the back and the beautiful pink colors in the center, which are flowers. And I'm gonna say that a lot of the old has burned away from our life, old ways of doing things, old ways of thinking, and that can feel pretty painful. Sometimes people get left behind or people don't vibe with your energy any longer, or maybe you have different philosophies, ideologies, mindsets, basically you have different paths to follow. And I feel like this could weigh heavily on you but it's going to be really, really important that you follow the path of love. Vibration of love is the highest vibration of all. There we go. The Four of Cups. Four of Cups reversed. Let's get that in the picture. And that one jumped out. So I feel like you could have missed some opportunities because of your dedication to other people. Or dedication to a situation that you're beating yourself up over. For some, not all, but for one or two of you, you could have had an issue with like drug use in the past and feel really guilty about um, where that left your relationships or the choices you made when you're under the influence and things like that. <clears throat> it is time to move past that. Not that we're not taking responsibility, but the Four of Cups tells me that you have dwelled on it so much that at this point it is not helpful or healthy. And I'm throwing cards everywhere. We are going to pick that up as well. Yeah, the Hierophant. And this jumper came out upside down as well. So we're going to honor that placement. With the Hierophant, I feel like this is committed to a lost cause. Not committed to the right cause or lack of commitment overall. I feel like being committed to... For example, a lack of self-forgiveness, a lack of forgiveness of other people and things like that. Um, and keep in mind that forgiving other people doesn't mean that you just allow them into your life willy-nilly. If they cause you chaos, strife, distress, you can forgive and move on and not have that person in your life. But I feel like with the higher front reverse right here, this is about not committing to yourself, about not releasing your guilt, about hanging on to things. So it's time to let go of that to allow new offers and new beginnings. Look at that, it's so pretty, to come into your life. And that gets taught by the 10 of Pentacles. That is my commitment card. Loyalty, family, money, inheritance, happiness, steadfastness. This is becoming solid. So if any of that match your energy or someone in your life, choose you, choose to release the past and move forward. Because with the Ten of Pentacles, that tells me that things are going to be really balancing out for you, working out for you. And we all need to allow people to have their own journeys, even if it doesn't match with our ideologies. What else do we have here for Monday the 7th? Show me now. Six of Pentacles. This could be somebody who is in a spirit of cooperation, collaboration with you. Yeah, so initially your energies may not match, but I think that self-forgiveness is where it all starts. And releasing yourself from guilt. And that will bring about, because you know, keep in mind that people treat us the way we treat ourselves. They see us the way we see ourselves. And if we think, wow, I'm a real POS because I did X, Y, Z or whatever, people will subconsciously feel that and kind of emulate that vibe. We don't want that, do we? 
<clears throat> so you are very precious, very dear, very loved, regardless of what stage in life you are right now. And keep in mind that the more that you forgive and you release the past, old patterns, old hurts, and incorporate change in things that are healthy for you, you are going to return to a balanced state and people are going to want to collaborate, cooperate. Um, I feel like you've been lending a hand. And uh, yeah, your money, I feel like could start looking really, really good. And you could have enough to help other people as well. I'm just going to pull one tea leaf card right here just because it's here. Or Monday because it's Monday, right? <clears throat> Broken wishbone. A wish will not be granted. So perhaps this guilt is about you mending bridges with people that don't mesh or are not to be on your path currently. So I feel like this is a way to say re-examine your wishes, your hopes, things that you've acted out of subconsciously. Sometimes we can't tear a page out of a book and stick it back in that same book and have it look right or even fit properly any longer. So it's time to let go of those old ideas and welcome in new ideas. And that'll put you on the correct path that is right for you. Much love to you. Until next time. Namaste.